going on, ballers and ballets? Wu Tang Bali here, and and first off, I just want to do apologize to you guys because I know I've been trying to get this CZ weapon review video to you guys for a while now, and uh, basically, pretty much a, a full month ago, I I caught something nasty, and I don't know what it was, but it was pretty pretty bad. Um, I was still able to go to work and do my normal stuff but for like three days I was pretty much dead to the world I mean I couldn't even help my wife with the kids or anything like that so yeah it was pretty bad but anyways on to the weapon review it's the CZ 3A1 in the assault class um, now my, my first thought about this gun you know I unlocked it I tried using it a couple times and it was a very bad experience and I'm not even sure why it may have been you know some issues with the game and some other things like that at the time but other than that I just did not enjoy using the the weapon itself the CZ so basically I gave up on it um, and it was really, it was, it was starting to get to me because I've never really given up on a gun until I just realized that it's just a really crappy gun. But anyways, here's, here's the review. I've got the, the stats from Simtic.com. That's pretty much where I'm, everybody's going for their stuff and that's where I'm going to go. So the max damage is 25 kind of like the normal damage for assault rifles and stuff like that uh, that drop off starts at 8 meters and it goes all the way down to the minimum damage of 12.1 and that drop off ends at 55 meters so you have to be pretty close to use the weapon the fire rate is a surprising and I didn't know it I thought it was like maybe eight seven hundred something like that but it's actually a thousand rounds per minute I had no clue about that no clue whatsoever so once again thanks to Simthic for getting uh, you know all this this stuff to us to you know so that we can do these weapon reviews but anyways the reload is as follows the we've got one left in the chamber it's 1.9 seconds to reload if you run the magazine dry it's gonna cost you 2.4 seconds so basically half a second is going to be the difference between one round and no rounds. Uh, the recoil to this thing is, is kind of weird. It's got a .4 pulled up. The recoil left, the pull left, is a .3. And the recoil right is a .55. Five. So the gun itself is going to pull just a little bit heavier to the right than anywhere else. The amazing thing about this is, is the first shot multiplier is a 3.3. .3. So if you put that, you know, into it and if you're just starting with the weapon, I think that would probably be the main issue with the gun starting out. But once you start unlocking things, you know, you start enjoying it, it, it comes to you. It really does. And I'm, I'm really enjoying the weapon here. I've got some gameplay for you guys and as I said earlier you know I, I never really did enjoy the gun but it worked out with you know my best thing was uh, the Cobra red dot sight the laser sight the muzzle brake and the stubby grip that's pretty much what worked for me of course I was playing um, you know not really any heavily vehicle maps you know I was playing most based infantry maps so uh, guys give it a try I do highly recommend it my score personally you know you, you you unlock it after 37,000 points using the PDWs. 37,000 points. That's kind of a lot. But yeah, guys, uh, you know if you if you get to use it, use it. Grind out with it. Let me know what you think um, in the comments. Like I said, guys, sorry I was uh, pretty much just knocked out of the uh, the YouTube and Twitter world there for a while. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, it's all caps MWJ underscore. JR and that's my pretty much just my personal Twitter account I may make a, uh, a secondary one to where I can have you guys follow it and give me you know loadouts and stuff like that I am gonna try and do a um, kind of like a live com loadout so if you guys want to give me any ideas for some loadouts you want me to give uh, give a try to um, just let me know and uh, you know like I said to me the gun does good it does there's nothing spectacular about it except for the reload and the fire rate it does average damage it has average drop off rates the only thing that sticks out to me like I said is the fire rate and the reload times so if you're paying attention and you're watching what you're doing and you're paying attention to your when you have to reload I would always reload it obviously before you empty the mag because that's like I said half a second difference it can make a difference that can make a whole world of difference so you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I appreciate you watching and have a good night. We'll see you on the next one.